Wow. Crazy. Just in the day of, we were just talking about Kobe Bryant and somebody brought up, uh, it's like, man, why I never did nothing on Mashburn? And I was like, I, I you, <coughs> Jamal Mashburn used to be the only athlete, Monster Mash, that was the only athlete they would allow us to talk about. I mean, really, his story, Kentucky Wildcat, you know, they suffered at the hands of the of the, the turnaround shot by Leitner, by Duke, Monster Mash was something, man. They was something. But NBA wasn't just all, you know, mash burn. He actually went to school and his mother instilled in him how important it was to get an education. You know, her good advice about success, encouraging him to pursue education. You got to have something to fall back on when this basketball thing is over. Basketball worked out, but he he never forgot his mother's advice. You know, and back in 2013, I don't know if you remember Winston Justice. Uh, he, he's a former NFL player. Uh, they were really good friends, and they started a venture capital firm together, and Mashburn and uh, Justice Capital Partners. Uh, they invest in, like, high-tech startup companies. In 2014, he started a marketing agency called Mashburn Sackett with locations in Chicago and Miami. As Mashburn explained, he wanted to leave the game with a, with a healthy quality of life and an ability to step into something. It's almost like not falling back on something, but falling forwards to something. You know, and, and that's always been his thing. You know, he set career goals for yourself. I've already told, always told you guys, it's not a joke. Most of you guys, goals are as small, and, but as monumental as it is, it is as easy as writing on a piece of paper, and you will not believe how many people won't do it. How many of you guys actually own a calendar and have it up on the wall? If you do, and you own one, they they give out calendars for free. Get one, put it up on the wall. Just write on that calendar for the week all things and plans you plan on doing that week. Start out doing that. Then you'll start learning how to plan. And once you start learning how to plan, then you can start putting a direction towards your life. Then you can start making plans financially and business-wise, making goals and set them up and getting the right books to learn and help you get there. And then you're able to communicate with certain people that help get you to that level. And when you're setting goals, which was one of Mass Burns' key things, he worked hard at being a good basketball player, but he also was looking into the future. He was looking outside of it. You know, his career goals went beyond... You know, just sports. Now he owns 80 franchises. Location, he got five car dealerships. He, ordered, he got 40 Papa John's, 38 Outback Steakhouses, four Dunkin' Donuts. And I know what you're going to say. Wow! <laughs> yeah, so... He's doing all right, and he's doing all right. Even though he made some money in the NBA, he's making a lot more outside of it. You know, those Antoine Walkers and Darius Miles situations when you see young people come in and with no guidance or they don't take the guidance and they wind up poor and filing for bankruptcy like a year or two years after the NBA life is over, and then they have nothing to show for it. Then they got tax problems. 
or to go on top of it. His dream started at 15. Hopefully you guys are, some of you guys may be older or younger, but this information could always help you. So learn from Monster Mash. I'm out. Y'all have a blessed day. It's Carcino. One.